started to navigate around that provision of the constitution and that decision by the court of appeal. All there right. can be no justification as to ever so, as to any handicap in complying with that provision. All right, so we'll be focusing on how um, to ensure that that provision is followed this time. I'll come to you in just a moment, Matai, but let's head over to Kibera now. William Lusige uh, is ready for us. He is at the scene of uh, the fire incident at uh, Moy Girls School in Kibera, where 16 students have already been hospitalized and being treated uh, for burns uh, following that fire that uh, destroyed their dormitory. Lusige, if you can hear me now, give us a real picture. What really happened here? Yes, Michelle, as you have said, I'm here at Moy Girls Secondary School in Kibra, where it is reported that there was a fire outbreak last night, but we have not yet been told the number of casualties yet. As you can see behind me, if my camera person can let you see, this is the number of parents who have flocked in here to know what's their fate of their students or their children. Already the Cabinet Secretary, Fred Matiangi, who is the Cabinet Secretary for the Ministry of Education, has already arrived, but we have not been given a chance to speak to him yet. We have not yet also have been told the number of casualties, but we have seen some of the students rush to the hospital and some of them have already been brought back by an ambulance. Already also we have seen a, a number of rescue teams, inclusive of Sonko rescue team and Nairobi a rescue team have already arrived here to help those who were injured during the last night's incidents. Also the number of parents who have flocked here is now increasing rapidly, but we have not yet been able to speak to some of them because the, the, the police are not allowing us to do so. And also the police have stopped us also to go to the other side where there was the fire outbreak. But we're still gathering a lot of information and we'll be coming back to you in a few minutes to let you know what will be happening. Also, the cabinet secretary, Fred Matiangi, has promised to speak to us after a few minutes. He's just behind this building where some of the casualties have been taken there. And we'll be gathering more information as we come back right, to and you, Michelle. Just before I let you go, uh, would you be able to establish uh, the uh, damage that has been done already. I understand that the fire began in one of the dormitories. Do we even know the cause of the fire yet? Uh, Michelle, up to now we have not been let in the other side where there was the fire outbreak. So we don't know really what caused the fire, but we have been told to keep calm and wait until they give a, an official statement by the cabinet secretary, Fred Matiangi himself. Uh -huh. Michelle. Have you been able to speak to any of the parents as well with regard to the well-being of their children? Have they got that information from the school administration as well? Many of them have